this either. We are in Afghanistan as we were in Germany post-World War II. That is for at least a half a century. It has nothing to do with Kabul and state building, nothing to do with fighting the Taliban or proving that we can reconcile with the Taliban, and nothing to do with fighting any terrorist group. It has everything to do with three primary strategic object objectives. And I really, as a military officer, as a professional, I don't necessarily object to these objectives, but I believe the American people probably ought to be told about them and there ought to be a debate as to whether or not they want to spend their money on these objectives. First objective is to be in the place that Donald Rumsfeld discovered was the most difficult country in the world to get military power into in 2001, and take my word for it, it is. Look at it on a map and leave it there because it is the only hard power the United States has that sits proximate to the central base road initiative of China that runs across Central Asia. If we had to impact that with military power, we are in position to do so in Afghanistan. And second reason we're there is because we're cheek and jowl with the potentially most unstable nuclear stockpile on the face of the earth in Pakistan. We want to be able to leap on that stockpile and stabilize it if necessary. And the third reason we're there is because there are 20 million Uyghurs and they don't like Han Chinese in Xinjiang province in western China. And if the CIA has to mount an operation using those Uyghurs, as Erdogan has done in Turkey against Assad, there are 20,000 of them in Idlib, in Idlib in Syria right now, for example. That's why the Chinese might be deploying military forces to Syria in the very near future to take care of those Uyghurs that Erdogan invited in, well, the CIA would want to destabilize China, and that would be the best way to do it. 